Leo Brent Bozell IV, the son of prominent conservative activist Leo Brent Bozell III, was charged in connection with the Jan. Six Capital Riot, according to an FBI affidavit that was unsealed Tuesday. Three witnesses reported Bozell to the FBI after social media users were able to identify him from photos and videos taken during the riot, according to the affidavit. The charges against Bozell were first reported Tuesday by the Huffington Post. The witnesses identified Bozell in multiple photos and videos that allegedly showed him at the Capitol on Jan. Six wearing a sweatshirt from the Hershey Christian Academy in Pennsylvania, where he was a girls basketball coach until March of 2020. One of the videos was footage from CNN that allegedly showed Bozell standing inside the Senate chamber during the riot. Another video was posted on YouTube allegedly showing Bozell standing with a group of people who were on the Senate chamber balcony yelling treason. Hundreds of rioters tore down security fencing and were able to breach the Capitol during the jam. Six Riot Hill staff were forced to evacuate minutes after the breach due to a report of a pipe bomb, and lawmakers were put into a full lockdown and delayed their vote to certify the results of the Electoral College vote once rioters entered the Capitol building. After receiving tips from the three witnesses, the FBI reviewed C-SPAN footage from the riot and confirmed Bozell's identity. Based on the footage, the FBI determined that Bozell was in the Senate chamber between at least 2.46 p.m. and 2.55 p.m. January 6. Bozell is facing charges for obstructing an official proceeding, entering a restricted building and grounds, and disorderly conduct. Lawmakers have voiced increased support for a 9-11-style commission to investigate the jam. Six riot following the acquittal of former President Donald Trump in his impeachment trial. Some Republicans who voted to acquit Trump, including South Carolina Senator Lindsey Graham, have joined their Democratic colleagues in supporting a 9-11 commission, 